Hi guys, so welcome back to probably my last pregnancy update. Things have kind of taken a swift curve and um, yeah, I will get into what's happening. So today is the 28th of March and I am 37 weeks and four days <clears throat> and I am due to be induced this Friday. So I will be um, exactly 38 weeks when I get induced. I had an appointment to see the consultant at 37 weeks. So this Friday just gone. Um, and basically I sat down with him and explained, um, I requested to have an induction of labor um, off the basis of the how badly the hyperemesis has been this pregnancy and you know other factors such as the um, the itchiness of my hands, the cholestasis, which I have had blood tests for, and I did get those results back yesterday. Um, and so far, I'm not currently suffering with the cholestasis again. Excuse me. Um, heartburn is still horrible, but um, yeah. So. The, the male consultant that I saw, I've seen quite a few over this pregnancy. Um, I've been in and out of hospital. I've had 10 hospital admissions for hyperemesis. Um, and I basically sat down. I didn't cry or anything. And I just sat down and I just said, you know, I'm I'm just ready to have the baby now. I'm, I'm exhausted from feeling nauseous all the time. Um, and it's affecting my children at home. And my day-to-day -day sort of um, lifestyle um, you know my mum's had to help out with school runs and and various things and it's just starting to affect my quality of life so he said that he wanted to perform a vaginal examination and perform a sweep and then he was going to be booking me in for an induction of labour um, for the following Friday, so when I turned 38 weeks, which I can say f first off that I was completely flawed. Um, I've seen, obviously, like I said, quite a few consultants. Some of them are very sympathetic to what you're going through and others are less so um, and basically just see you as another pregnant lady that they want to just get in and out really quickly. Um, but I must have been really lucky on that day um, even though he was run off his feet, they were a doctor down um, or a consultant down. So, um, but I was really, really happy with the outcome. He took the time to listen to what I had to say. Um, and it kind of restored your faith a little bit more in, um, in the care system. I mean, I'm forever grateful for the NHS. Um, they, you know, they've really helped me over this pregnancy and my previous pregnancies. Um, and the miscarriages and things but you know sometimes that level of care isn't always as you would expect it to be so I was really happy that he listened to me and knew that I wasn't just asking because I know I completely understand that when you get to sort of 37 weeks you start you know you're just at you're just done basically you want the baby to be born you're done with being pregnant and you're fed up uncomfortable and you know the list goes on so um yeah he did my i had my blood pressure done that was 115 over 78 i've got my notes down here um yeah so the blood pressure was 115 over 78 there was nothing found in my urine which was good for a change um at that appointment i was um i don't know sorry at, my blood pressure was actually 112 over 76 there we go that's that was the blood pressure um so i was exactly 37 weeks and then he performed the vaginal examination and did the sweep um and this consultant was probably about six foot three minimum with very large hands um very long fingers I'm not going to go into any more detail but this was the first time i've ever had a sweep done i've never had a sweep performed before i've only ever had vaginal checks when i've been in actual labor or prior to the induction of labor so um 
for me it didn't hurt obviously it wasn't enjoyable um it was uncomfortable but it didn't hurt um so at that appointment she was three-fifths engaged um she was long longitudinal tu, long longitudinal and cephalic so she was head down laying on my left side i'm guessing um and i was two to three two centimeters dilated one centimeter long um moderate to mid position and her head was at minus three so i'm guessing um that you know that's a obviously a labor term but yeah so um from that appointment i was told that i was gonna obviously have the bloods done which i'm not sure if you can see here this is still recovering the, the lady was really nice like it didn't hurt when she took my blood but i don't know so um i was told that i needed to come back in on monday for another sweep um that was at half past 10 so yeah to come in at half past 10 for another sweep and also to find out the results from the blood tests um and if i had been um diagnosed with cholestasis then they probably would have induced me um either yesterday or today or something like that but yeah the results came back fine you have to be within 14 your bile acid levels have to be within 14 and mine were eight so it's fine um so then yesterday which was monday i went in and had my repeat sweep done i should mention that after my first initial sweep on friday i lost um pretty much all of my plug on saturday um i had some mild um contractions they lasted probably about an hour or two um but nothing you know leading to what i would say was labor um and braxton hicks increased a lot um and later on that evening we did actually go and see beauty and the beast at the cinema um and i was really pleased that i got to see that before she was born it was sort of like one of my little goals um so yeah we saw that um came home obviously nothing else happened i did bleed a little bit from the sweep nothing major um and i just put a pad on and kept an eye on it so yeah like i said monday yesterday went back in i was 37 weeks and three days um my blood pressure was at that appointment it was 115 over 78 um bloods came back fine she was in the same position longitudinal cephalic um i was four fifth, four fifths engaged um and her heart rate was 135 beats per minute excuse me um yeah 135 beats per minute and then i was two to three cent oh my goodness the reflux burping is horrible i apologize i was two to three centimeters dilated so i had progressed further in that um and i had thinned out more so i was only now um half a centimeter um long and what else did she put here yeah cervix cervix was still thick but central um yeah um 0 0.5 centimeters long and then after the sweep was performed uh, her heart rate was checked again straight afterwards and it was 136 beats per minute um and then i have booked in to come back in for another sweep tomorrow so wednesday um at half past 11 um so at this sweep yesterday I didn't bleed from it and I haven't had any sort of um, vaginal changes um, from it but last night I did have really bad backache really bad backache um, 
uh, but nothing else really has sort of come from it. She said that I'm very, very favourable for the sweeps and for um, induction. So she doesn't, she doesn't reckon that I'll need, because with Oliver I had one propess and then I went into active labour. Um, and at the beginning of that process I was only a fingertip dilated. Um, so she, with being obviously two to three centimetres already um, and half a centimetre long, she doesn't think that I'm gonna need anything like the prostaglandin gel or the propess. Um, she's very confident that I'll probably only need to have my waters broken and that will put me into active labour, which is good. Um, and yeah, so due back in tomorrow at half past 11 um, for a my last sweep. Um, and then on the Friday, if I don't go into labour naturally myself before Friday, um, I need to call the antenatal ward at eight o'clock in the morning um, and ask sort of what time I need to come in. And then, yes, yeah, so I am just waiting to find out what's going on. Um, I've packed my bag and the baby's bag. Um, I had one sort of last thing to get, which came in the post today, one of which I'm wearing right now. Um, and the other one is here. It's um, a pack of two uh, nursing tank tops. Um, I got them from H&M. They were $17.99 for a pack of two, which to me, to me is quite expensive, but I mean, you are gonna be getting a lot of use out of them. Um, so they have like the, oh, the clips. Um, so yeah, I got it in black and white and I'm going to be putting both into my hospital bag um, and I've got obviously everything else in there and that's basically it. Um, oh yeah, I did order this off of um, eBay uh, last week. Um, the actual bag that it comes with is packed in my um, hospital bag but it's the OB, the OB10s machine and it looks like this um, it had not been used before but the box had been opened but the actual product itself had not been used I got it for 30 30 pounds I believe um, you can still get these in the shops and they range from I think it's 44 pounds um, in the shops so I did obviously get a discount with that um, but yeah I've never used a tens machine before so I'm curious to see if it makes any difference, um, you know, for the early labour pains. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't really know how to feel about being induced. Again, like, I'm not scared about being induced. The only thing I'm sort of anxious about is the pain because obviously it being my third time, I know what to expect. And I'm just a bit anxious as to how it's going to pan out whether it's going to go really quickly because I'm already dilated so much um, I, d I don't know you, you, you just don't know you know I could still end up with a c-section or tearing or anything could happen um, as long as she comes out fine and healthy and I'm in one piece still and um, then that's all that matters and yeah I'm just I'm I don't know I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's over sort of thing I'm excited to meet her I'm apprehensive um, the boys are so excited we've sorted childcare out for the weekend so because they start half term the, their last day of term for Easter holidays is this Friday so um, yeah it's going to be kind of hectic but Matt is obviously taking two weeks off um, and yeah, I will show you my belly, um, and I think that's going to be it really. I was due to have a last growth scan on Friday and a midwife appointment on Friday, um, obviously at 38 weeks, but I don't think I'll be having those now. Um, I've never had a baby this early before, so um, I'm not sure on what the weight's going to be. At my 35 week scan, she was estimated to be five pounds, three ounces. So who knows, who knows how much she's going to weigh. Um, she, we've 
um, got everything. We've got the car seat out, the push chair, like obviously is all ready. Um, the swing, the bouncer, Moses baskets all out. All of our clothes and blankets and all of that stuff, muslins, they've all been washed. The sterilizers all ready in case we need to use that. Um, yeah, and I've just packed some things to obviously being juiced. I've been taking a book, um, got some magazines. I um, I have a subscription to the Mother and Baby magazines. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm taking the Giovanna Fletcher book in with me. Um, and I've also got um, a pack of playing cards to take in because you never know how long it's going to take. So um, I know we'll be able to walk around the hospital premises, but obviously we won't be able to leave. Um, but yeah, I'm waffling now, so I shall go and I shall show you my belly, my last belly shot. Um, and yeah, that will be it. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me, then leave them in the um, in the comments section, and I shall get back to you. And yes, I will be filming the labour. I'm not sure when it's going to go up. Obviously, I'll try and get up as quickly as possible. Um, hopefully, nothing else happens in the meantime. So yeah. Okay, so here's my last bump shot. I am in my new um, nursing top and my pyjama bottoms because when I'm at home, it's just so much more comfortable. So here is it from the front. I am 37 weeks and four days today. So here's it from the front, from the side. The other side, then <clears throat> so from side, front, other side. 